everybody. Today I thought it would be fun to do a kitchen cookies on chicken pie. It's really easy to make and so let's get into it because I really want to make some. So I am I have about a tablespoon of margarine in my pan and I'm gonna put it on medium high. I'm gonna let my butter brown a little bit. I'm gonna toss in some onions. This is kind of like a personal preference thing. My personal preference is to have them in the pan. Um, I'm not gonna put this whole thing in. I think I'd say like half. That's about half an onion. So I'm gonna let these brown a little bit. So my onions are looking pretty good. I'm going to spread them to the side and put in two small chicken breasts. And I've just scooped these up a little bit. I'm just breaking them up a little bit. And now I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on them. And I'm using a salt replacement, but you can use actual salt if you like. I just like the taste of this. And I'll put my other spices in when I make the sauce. And so I'm gonna leave the chicken to cook a little bit and I'm gonna make the sauce. Okay, so I'm gonna use a magnet to take the top of this up. Okay, so this is one can of um, cream of chicken soup. And then you'll need half a cup of chicken broth. I'm going to use it to clean up the can a little bit. It does tend to stick to the little grooves. I'm going to whisk that up and add my spices. Mm. Take a bigger bowl next time. a quarter of a teaspoon of poultry spice and half a teaspoon of rosemary Flip it over a little bit. Looking really, really nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna add two kinds of potatoes. New potatoes, and it's about, I'd say, a cup. And these are some red potatoes. And then a few carrots. and then I'm going to stir it up and add my sauce. So I'm gonna put a lid on it while it cooks for those three to five minutes just to help it um, cook. So it's been about three minutes. And, and I'm gonna add my sauce now. 
and then I'm going to mix it all up. You can also put some corn or and or peas, but I think it's good just like this for me, but it all depends on your taste. You can stuff this with a lot of things. I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna turn it down to low while I get my pie crusts ready. Okay, I think my filling is ready. I have an egg and two pie crusts. I just rolled out some pie dough to the correct size and then I have the lids, I guess, over there. Um, if you want me to show you how I make this super easy pie pastry, let me know in the comments. Anyways, I'll just grab my pie filling and I'm gonna put a scoop to start and I'll see how much more I need. It all depends on how big your pie crust is. I think that Perfect. should be good. I want a bit of your juice. with holes in it so I'm gonna use a tablespoon to add a bit more sauce I think that should be good next one Just taking off the extra dough and then I'm gonna crimp the edges. Okay. This part doesn't have to be perfect. If you'd like, you can also buy some pre-made dough. But I like making my own pastry. So then I have control over how thin it is. Next one. And we do have a video on how to use up the scraps, so I'll have that in the description. Just making sure the edges are fused together, that way it won't break open in the oven. That smells so good. Okay, so I'm going to use a little I'm going to use a little paintbrush and put some egg wash around the edges. Just anywhere I want it to brown a little bit. And then I'm going to make one or two bigger pies. And I'm going to put them in the oven at 350 degrees. And I'm going to start them um, at 40 minutes. And I'll just add if I need to. Okay, on to the next pie. Okay, so I have all of these pies laid out in front of me. They are ready to go into the oven. And I managed to get four small ones and one large one, and they look super good. They smell amazing, and so I'm gonna put them in the oven, and then I'll check them to make sure that it's done. I almost forgot before.
before I go to bed, this is the finished product. They smell super, super good. Two of these little ones are already in the freezer. I can't wait. I'm gonna have my cousin over for supper and we're gonna chow down on this big one. I also am gonna share a couple of these small ones with friends and family. And I'm gonna eat a whole bunch because I had some of the filling and it's delicious. Anyways, let me know in the comments if there are any pie recipes you'd like me to try. And if you do make this recipe, make sure to take a picture and use the hashtag PowerPrincess on Instagram and Google Plus so that I can find it and see it because it makes my day. And I will see you all next time. Remember to subscribe to become a Power Pal. Bye!